Hey guys! So, once again, it is that time of the month. So today for you all, I'm going to be filming my April favorites, and I cannot believe it is already May. That is just crazy to me. I cannot believe another month has passed us by. I know I say this in every video. And this April, I found a lot of products that I've really been enjoying, and I've really been loving and using for about the whole month. So if you guys are interested in seeing my April favorites, then go ahead and stay tuned. So the first product I've been loving this month is an eyeliner, and my friend Jen introduced it to me. So Jen, if you are watching this video, hello and thank you so much for introducing this eyeliner to me. And I don't know how I didn't ever use this eyeliner before because it is wonderful and hands down the most perfect eyeliner I've ever used. And that is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. So I don't know if any of you have heard of this before. I know it is one of the best seller eyeliners at Sephora, but this is just hands down the most wonderful eyeliner I've ever used. It is a liquid eyeliner with a really nice skinny felt tip, and it's kind of like a marker felt tip, which is awesome. Awesome. This creates the most perfect winged eyeliner, so if you are someone that likes to wear a winged eyeliner, I definitely recommend this eyeliner for you because the way the felt tip is, it kind of just already creates the wing for you, which sounds weird, but as you pull it out from the corner of your eye to go to make the wing, it kind of just already creates the shape for you. It gives you that clean edge and it gives you that really defined cat eye at the end. It gives you that point. So this eyeliner is just wonderful. And I have it in the color Trooper, which is the black shade, but this eyeliner is great. If you guys are fans of of winged eyeliner and really like to wear eyeliner on a daily basis, I would definitely recommend this eyeliner because it has been wonderful. My next favorite product this month is a recently discovered product, but I am loving it and I definitely had to include it in this video, and that is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. I saw so many gurus on YouTube talk about this mascara and I just never got a chance to buying it, so when I needed a new mascara I decided this was the one that I was going to pick up and I see what the hype about this mascara is because it is amazing. The brush on this mascara is just so awesome, it's just this really awesome fat rubber brush and just the way the brush is shaped and the way the bristles are it just gives me the most amazing definition on my lashes. So this mascara has been giving me everything I'm looking for in my eyelashes. It really holds a curl nicely, gives my eyes a lot of volume and length, a lot of definition and the color is really nice and black. This mascara really makes it look like I'm wearing false eyelashes. So I don't know how I didn't try this mascara before this month but I've definitely been loving this product this month. Hello little girl. The next product I've been loving this month is a product I've had for a while but I've never had it in this form and that is the Smith's Rosebud Salve. So for a while I've had this product in the pot but I went ahead and picked it up in the tube form just so it was easier to use you know during school and I wasn't sticking my fingers in a dirty pot or anything. It keeps my lips really really smooth and it makes applying lip products so easy because my lips tend to get chapped all year round. So this is just my favorite lip product for keeping my lips really smooth so I just went ahead and purchased it in a tube and I've been loving it just like I love it in the pot. So the next product I've been loving this month is a body lotion and it seems kind of silly that I'd be using this body lotion already because I haven't really gotten tan yet but this is just an amazing body lotion and it is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration After Sun Ultra Hydrating Lotion and Soothing Aloe Gel. So that is a mouthful but it's worth it because this is an amazing body lotion. So my sister got this when she went on vacation. She went to the Bahamas a few weeks ago so she went ahead and picked this up for her vacation and then I started using it when she came home and it is an amazing body moisturizer. Since it has the aloe gel in it. It really keeps your skin really, really soft and it also helps with sunburn, which I haven't had, but I have such dry skin that it's just really been helping keeping my skin really smooth. And also since it has the aloe, it kind of has a cooling effect on your skin. So this has just been a great body moisturizer for me this month. The next product I've been loving this month is a hair product and that is the Bumble and Bumble Grooming Cream. So I love the Bumble and Bumble products and this is definitely another product that I love from Bumble and Bumble. So this is what it says it is. It is a grooming cream and it kind of has a creamy consistency to it and what I use this cream for is I like to apply it to my little sideburn areas and the hair at the nape of my neck just to keep all of that smooth and polished because I like that to look nice and flat so it brings more definition to the top of my haircut so it's not like this is sticking out or anything. This is really nice. It doesn't make my hair hard or stiff or look like I have a cream on my hair. It just really keeps my hairs down and smooth and in place and it smells really good and I love all the Bumble and Bumble product and ever since I cut my hair I've really been loving this product so this has definitely been a favorite product of mine in April. Next product I've been loving loving this month is a perfume and I mentioned it in my I Love Spring tag so some of you might have heard me talk about this before but it is a perfume that I purchased at Anthropology, and this is the Royal Apothic Holland Park perfume. So Royal Apothic is a brand that they have at Anthropology, and all of their stuff is amazing. They have a perfume and hand cream line and it is an amazing perfume line but the one I picked is in the scent Holland Park and this just smells so amazing. If you guys watch my I Love Spring tag you're basically going to hear me give the same description of it but it just has a very clean fresh scent and it 
kind of smells like rain to me. I don't know why I associate the smell of this with rain. It also has kind of a very rosy floral citrusy scent. It doesn't have any warm scents like vanilla in it or anything, but it just has a very clean, fresh, rosy, citrusy scent. So I have been loving this perfume this month and ever since I got it, I've been wearing it every day. I think it's just gonna be a great scent for the spring and summer. The next product I've been loving this month, I also mentioned in my I Love Spring tag, but it is a nail polish, and that is the Essie Nail Polish in the color Mint Candy Apple. So most of you have probably seen this nail polish before, and I see why people talk about it all the time and love it. So this is by the brand Essie, and it is just the most perfect mint color I've ever seen before. And pretty much for the whole month of April, whenever I was repainting my nails, I was reaching for this color, which says a lot about a nail polish, because I usually never repaint my nails the same color in like twice. Like I, if I paint my nails, then the next time I paint them, I'll do a different color. But I've really been reaching for this color a lot in the month of April. It's just the perfect mint color, and I think it's a great color for the spring and summer, and I've just really been loving it this month. So if you guys are looking for a really good mint color, I would definitely recommend this, and this is Essie's Mint Candy Apple, so I've been loving this nail polish this month. And the last product I've been loving this month is another nail product, and this is the Sesh Feet Top Coat. So the first time I heard about this, top coat was with Juicy Star 07 and that must have been a while ago but she talked about this top coat and a lot of other gurus on YouTube I've heard talk about this top coat before and this is the dry fast top coat so this top coat is amazing I put it on after I paint my nails and within seconds my nails are completely dry to the touch and they're also really really shiny my sister had a gel manicure on and I had just normal nail polish with this top coat on and our nails looked very similar it looked like I almost had gel manicure on it gives that much shine and seal and protection to your nails and it really makes them dry fast. So since I'm someone who loves to paint my nails and always after I paint my nails for some reason, I have 50 trillion things to do that I didn't have to do before I painted my nails. If that happens to anyone else, let me know in the comments below so I don't feel like I'm the only one. But I've definitely been loving this top coat for that reason because it just keeps my nails really dry, chip free, and gives them a lot of shine. So I have been loving this product this month. Okay guys, so that was everything I was loving for the month of April and everything I found I've really been enjoying and really getting a lot of use out of. I'd definitely love to know what your April favorites were. So definitely let me know what your favorites were in the comments below or film a video response to this video. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave any video requests you guys have in the comments below because I always want to film what you guys want to see. So definitely let me know what you would like to see. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Bye guys. Say bye.